Okay, what phase change corresponds to each of these points turning into one of these other points on the phase diagram? Now you'll be given a phase diagram with some points, maybe some, maybe you're told what temperature and pressure some of these are at, but here's all you need to know. When you're given a phase diagram like this one, solid is always to the left. This is the solid area. Everything in this area, this, these temperature pressure combinations is a solid. Top right, liquid. Bottom right, gas, always. This up here, beyond the critical point, I guess I'll draw a box for you. This is supercritical fluid. It's not gonna play a role in the question I'm giving you, but if you're curious, any, any temperature pressure combination up here makes it something called a supercritical fluid. What phase change corresponds when you go from point A to point B? Point A is solid, point B is liquid. When something goes from a solid to a liquid, it's melting. Now your teacher may call that something else, like fusion, it's just the chemistry word we use for melting. From point B to C, liquid to gas. A liquid turning into a gas is called evaporation. You probably knew that from like grade five. Point C to D is a gas turning into a solid. When you have a gas and it just comes out as a solid with no liquid phase in between, it's called deposition. It's important in atmospheric chemistry and stuff. D to C is when the solid turns straight into a gas with no liquid change in between. When a solid turns directly into a gas, that's called sublimation. The best example I have of that is when the frost evaporates off of the windshield of your car. It doesn't turn into water and then the water evaporates, the frost just kind of disappears. C to B, gas turning into a liquid. Well, you've seen that happen. It's called condensation. And B to A in this case, B is in the liquid zone, A is in the solid zone. A liquid turning into a solid is called freezing. And look, you can identify each of the six phase changes that you're required to know by looking at a phase diagram. That's how the two relate to each other. Best of luck.